All right, thank you Rob from Brigadier for taking Arne's and my questions. And now Arne, I believe you have a very important question to ask. Yeah, talking lithium markets here. So when I look at the commodity spot prices, depending on the six months, 12 months or 10 year chart, we're either above average, we've had a drop or we have had a rebound. So Rob, where are we in the lithium market right now? I, I'm quite optimistic in the space. I think I think we've had a rebound. I, I think um, as far as growth worldwide, it, it's going to be significantly higher. Countries are looking to, to really get more involved in, in lithium as they see a sustainable option for automobiles and you know Tesla is looking to expand their growth there's uh, you know China is looking to make more investments especially into South America where they've made two sizable investments lately I think there's a lot more room for growth and you know working in Canada Canada is fairly new in the lithium scene as far as as working on projects and, and expanding uh, what we think we have as, as far as quite a substantial amount of it uh, so I think there's a lot of room for growth uh, it, Domestically, but yeah, I, I, I think I think there's there's definitely a lot of room for for growth, and I, I think lithium is on the right trend uh, over the last seven months. If that's just what you look at, it doesn't look great, but uh, you know, over the last two months, things are looking a little bit stronger. I think you know, with demand being up, is is, is expected to be up six times uh, by 2030. I think that kind of indicates that there's going to be need for more. Uh, exploration at companies that turn into producers. And I'd just like to throw in a number here. Or, um, uh, some people say, hey, this lithium hype is already ending. Uh, the, the trend is already close uh, close to the tipping point. Uh, if you look at the Ford EV numbers from 2022, uh, 4.2 million uh, vehicles produced by Ford Motor Company overall. 61,000 electric vehicles, which is roughly about 1.5%. So at least uh, looking at Ford, um, they're just getting started. Yeah, I think you're right. I, I think a lot of these car manufacturers are looking to expand their growth in that space. Uh, I mean, it's it's not only is it sustainable, but it's kind of what a lot of people are looking for to as far as an option to drive with, with you know the price of gas and and whatnot. So uh, I think you, you totally have it spot on. Uh, GM had sizable investments in, into pre-purchasing lithium just, just for that reason, because they want to make sure they're able to have the, or to meet up with the, catch up with the demand as they, uh, as it comes towards them. So I think we'll see a, a, even more of a shift for these car manufacturers to, you know, not be at 1.5%, but maybe get up to, to 5% of their overall uh, built. So I, I definitely think that's a good point, point, Arnie, as far as the fact that, yeah, you know, maybe, there's been a bit of a downturn in the lithium space, but a lot of these car manufacturers don't see it that way. They want to continue their growth and expansion. Yeah, definitely. I mean, if I look at the mission statement from Ford, they want to move up to 2 million vehicles by 2026, uh, which would mean then a 50% share uh, pro rata. So that's uh, very strong numbers and uh, they will definitely need a lot of battery materials, including lithium.